यू ऑल टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी दैट इज द इम्बाइबिशन यू मस्ट नो दैट वॉट इज इम्बाइबिशन बेसिकली इम्बाइबिशन इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ द डिफ्यूजन वेन द वॉटर इज एब्सॉर्ब बाय द सॉलिड कोलाइटल सब्सटांसेस एंड ड्यू टू विच वॉट हैपन्स दैट दियर वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीज ओके एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज द इम्बाइबिशन we can also define imbibition in various ways say for absorption of the water by the hydrophilic colloidal substances is also called as the imbibition now we can say that imbibition is a physical process by which a dry solid solid colloidal material swells up because of the absorption of water all these three definitions what i have talked about are the various ways to explain the concept of the imbibition now the question arises that all the substances do not show the imbibition then which substances show the imbibition so there are special colloidal substances or we can say that the imbibent materials are there which show imbibition there are few substances which show imbibition largely and there are few substances which do not show imbibition in a very good way okay there are some substances agar agar now if you have heard about this agar agar this agar agar is isolated from the two algae is known as the gallium and the gracilaria and this agar agar is the best type of the colloidal substance because it absorbs the water 99 times then it's normal weight okay now not only the agar agar protein starch cellulose pectin hemicellulose are other imbibent material other colloidal substances which shows the process of imbibition and out of these agar agar is utilized in the biology laboratories in the big way as a culture medium okay now what is the imbibition power means we want to suggest here that which are the substances which shows the great test imbibition power and which is the substance which is having the least imbibition power so agar agar is having more imbibition power than pectin pectin is having more power than protein protein is having more power than the starch and starch is having more imbibition power than the cellulose means the highest power the greatest power of the imbibition is found in the agar agar and the least imbibition power is found in the cellulose okay when we are talking about the imbibition i will be quoting here two examples and the two examples are the best examples to represent the imbibition where you can see the absorption of the water that is the dry wood the dry wood is the best example if you take a dry wooden piece and you place that wooden piece in the water you see that it will swell its volume will be increased and we can say that imbibition has occurred okay seed seed is also best colloidal substance seeds are having the very little quantity of water or they are having no water so what will happen the water will move inside the seeds when you saw the seed in the seed, in the soil what happens the seed coat bursts and a young seedling comes out this is just in just because of the imbibition so we can say the classical example of the imbibition where we can see the absorption of the water are the dry wood and the seed okay now you must also know that there must be a water potential gradient there must be a water potential gradient between the absorbent that is the solid solid colloidal substance which will show imbibition and the liquid imbibed right means the water potential gradient must be present between the absorbent that is the solid colloidal substance and the liquid imbibed for the process of the imbibition if the water potential gradient is not there water will not be imbibed in that absorbent okay why why we use the word water potential because we know very well water always moves from high side w to low side w means water always moves from high water potential to low water potential and we know that the high side w highest side w is of the pure water highest side w is of the pure water so what will happen when a wooden piece will be kept in the pure water so water will enter into 
the wood piece why because it will be having the low sign w means uh, in between the water and the wooden piece a water potential gradient is there and that's why the water moves into the wooden piece not only this in addition to this you must know that for any substance to imbibe to for any substance to imbibe any liquid affinity must be there between the absorbent and the liquid then only the imbibition will occur means what i want to say always there must be a affinity between the absorbent that is the solid colloidal substance and the liquid imbibe then only the imbibition will occur otherwise imbibition will not occur i have quoted some examples here wood plus water now they are having the affinity we always see that imbibition occur rubber plus water you have seen that water never enters into the rubber tube okay so rubber plus water having no affinity so no imbibition will occur but rubber is having the affinity with the ether if rubber is placed in ether imbibition will occur so these examples are actually showing the affinity between the absorbent and the liquid imbibed okay now imbibition is also a diffusion sometimes is asked that is imbibition a diffusion so yes imbibition is a diffusion why because the water movement is along a concentration gradient like in diffusion we know that there is always a diffusion gradient and here also we see that because there is a concentration gradient because there is a concentration gradient we can say that imbibition is a process of diffusion say for say for seeds and other colloidal substances have almost no water seeds and other colloidal substances dry colloidal substances are not having the water so what will happen water will be absorbed in that substance okay now one more thing when we are discussing about the imbibition that during imbibition heat is also generated and pressure is also generated now the heat which is released during the process of the imbibition is called as the heat of wetting means when we are wetting a colloidal substance a heat is generated and that heat is known as the heat of wetting that is known as heat of wetting and this heat of wetting can be felt when we are kneading the floor at our home okay when we are need when we are kneading a wheat or a maize floor they are the colloidal substances and we pour water in it and if we keep our hands in that floor what we see that our hand will be feeling a warmth and that warmth is generated because of the heat of the wetting not only this uh, whenever the imbibition occurs a uh, imbibition pressure is generated and it is a huge pressure it is a huge pressure of many atmospheric pressure right and this pressure is called as the imbibitional pressure right in the earlier times when the dynamite was not discovered during that time this imbibitional pressure was used to break the brick rocks okay what how the rocks were broken down so what happens the colloidal substances the dry colloidal substances like the wooden powder and the wooden pieces were actually filled in the surfaces which were present in the rock and water was sparkled on it so what happens due to that a enormous amount of the pressure was generated and this pressure was responsible for breaking the big rocks okay this is the use of the imbibitional pressure okay not only in breaking the rocks in many uh, places you will see that imbibitional pressure is used the seat coats are bursting or rupturing just because of the imbibitional pressure means i see i want to say that due to imbibition imbibitional pressure is generated okay now imbibition not only occur in the liquid stage imbibition also occur in the vapor state also imbibition also occur in vapor state also say for you can see the swelling of the wooden doors and windows during the rainy season the places where there is too much of rainfall occurring at that places you can see that the wooden doors and the windows uh, remain actually in the imbibed stage for the entire uh, rainy season period if they are closed it's not possible for you to open them it's very tough to open them that is just because that wooden uh, doors and windows are colloidal and they absorb the water from the environment 
and they swell means it is also a process of imbibition okay now many times a question is asked to you in exams that uh, there was a, a professor who entered the class okay and before starting or delivering his lecture he did an experiment he took a glass jar in that glass jar he capped the seeds the whole of the jar was filled with the seeds and he sparkled the water on the seed okay and put the lid on that uh, jar and closed that jar tightly okay and he kept that jar in the corner of the class and he started delivering the lecture now as soon as the lecture was finished the glass jar was bursted it was broken down now the question is that that what the professor wants to explain in the class or the lecture of the professor was based on so his uh, lecture was based on the imbibition why the glass jar has been broken down because he has filled colloidal substances in the glass jar right and the water was sparkled so seeds and water are having a good affinity so uh, imbibition pressure generated enormous increase were there in the pressure and the volume and the glass jar busted off okay so you must know this thing also now at last we are actually talking about the significance that what are the significance of uh, the this uh, process of imbibition so seedlings emerge out of the soil due to imbibition when you sow a seed in the soil then what happens young seedling comes out so the young seedling are coming out of the soil just and just because of the process of imbibition not only this we must know that seeds are covered by seed coat you must be remembering that a seed is having two type of the seed coat outer and inner outer seed coat is called as testa inner seed coat is called as the tegmin so the rupturing of the seed coat just in just because of the imbibition and many seeds are having many tough seed coats okay they rupture just because of the imbibition now a resolution recession in the selenginella and the lichen the recession right in the selenginella and the lichen occur just because of the imbibition means they redevelop just because of the imbibition only initial process of the water absorption by the root hair is imbibition not the further process the very initial process when the root hairs are absorbing the water from the soil the process followed is the imbibition entry of water in the aerial roots of orchids we know very well that orchids are epiphytes and they have aerial roots and these aerial roots absorb water from the environment just in just because of the imbibition and we can also see imbibition uh, when the at the time of the maturity of the plants so many plants in many plants like uh, the cotton plant the cotton balls and the pods of the many plants they rupture on maturity they rupture on maturity just in just because of the imbibition so dear student uh, the video was based on the imbibition it's very important many times questions have been asked in the exams on this imbibition so uh, you just watch this thing uh, from beginning to the end and uh, we will be coming soon with some new videos based on the plant physiology so keep watching if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take it